it's scary, man. It's, 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 and it's getting scarier because I just heard Clarence, Clarence Avon, the, the godfather yeah. of, of black entertainment, period, in Hollywood. He got he got us our deal. He worked our deal. He worked, he worked everybody deal you know in music. And for his house to get robbed and his wife get shot is terrible. That is just. My God, that man. Is, this man has put black people on for years with deals and just movies and the whole now you can't say black Hollywood without saying his name. Yeah. And they gonna run up in this house and do that, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. So you never know, bro. You never know. And times are getting even more crazy. So you gotta you gotta be careful and you know, you gotta have security, I guess. What advice do you got for artists coming into the game now then on how to just navigate it and to deal with the different twists and turns or the different levels that they gonna face in this thing? Cause it's cute when everybody start. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But when you get in that thing and you realize you working like hell, or yeah, the money's coming job, in, it turns into something else. Yeah, a lot of people think it's just a fantasy. You do a video, go home, and you chill. Nah, bro, you got. Lot you have, you have. First of all, you gonna have a phone phoners from <laughs> from from nine a.m. <laughs> to ten p.m. Yeah, nine a.m. to ten p.m. That's just the truth. A lot of people don't understand. A lot comes with this. A lot of traveling. A lot of uh, personal. You just it's, it's so much that it could be. You know that's why you hear about so many artists kind of going not going crazy, but just have to take breaks. Yeah, because it gets like that, man. You need and a break. So to me, to prepare yourself for this game, you can't. You just have to be willing to work. And if you feel like you're like you feel like you're falling out of control, let your people know, man. Say, hold on, man. I just I. I know we got this to do, but just give me a minute, let me breathe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to you have to talk and make sure let people know how you're feeling, so you can have a level head, man. Because you know, once people get you to start working, it's this, yeah, and it's nonstop. You know, I mean, I remember being, being times when Cash was on the road and they thought their tour was over. And they manager called him and said, nah, man, y'all got a whole nother tour. And they was having to be home. And they only got one day to be home. And they go right back on tour. They like, man, what the? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's a job. You sell records, this will come with it. What do you think? Do you think it was that kind of stuff that made Andre say, you know what, I just want to relax and do me? Yeah, I do. Because now, let me remind you, when they came out, they were young. They were still teenagers. So we worked them from Southern Player List all the way up. To love below. My God. That's when he had had enough and he was tired of it, you know. And I get it. You know, you, we worked in the death and you were, you've done everything you could do. Went diamond in this thing before we uh, clocked out now. Exactly. Exactly. What money you I want think, from it? And yeah. I think he don't want to. I, I think at that point he knew, having an album of the year, that they were going to get the shit worked out of him. Because <laughs> we had already did, like, every uh, award show, every – I mean, we did, we were in California, man. We did damn near every show. And I know he was tired of it because by the time we had did MTV, he said, well, here I am performing this for 260 million times. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh. Somebody don't want to do this. That was a change. Mm. I don't blame but him. I can't say that for Big, Big, man. He still love to perform. That's what I love about him. He still love it. Cause I, I think he was more trained for it in high school than Dre was. Dre was more of a, a painter, an artist, a, yeah. you know, just mind just just open on everything. And Big was like in acting classes, and yeah, it's a video of him when he was in high school coming around the corner rapping and stuff. Like you can see who kind of really wanted it more. Mm. That's why Big still does it. Yeah, he still loves it. What keeps you doing it? I still love music. Yeah, I still love music. You know, I like I said, I grew up backstage, bro. I seen every band perform, and you know what I'm saying? When I first seen my dad perform at the age of six, I couldn't believe that was my dad. I was like, oh, I <laughs> got to do this. Yeah, yeah. I seen how them women were screaming and grabbing for him, and dad got the number one hit in the, in the world. I'm like, oh, man, that's my pop. Let me get to it. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's still that. Like, my dad is still performing. My God. He still performs. What are those conversations like? How does he feel about seeing his son make a legendary mark and then following in his footsteps oh, as well, though? That's got to super, be a feeling, he's man. super proud. He always tell me how proud yeah. he is. Because um, 
I don't think he really wanted me to do music. I don't think my mama wanted me. To do mm. You know, they wanted me to do something else because he knew what came, what with comes it. with, you know, what came with music. Damn. So, but by me doing it, he smiled though. He loved it. Yeah. He loves it. You know. So to be able to see that you can handle it. Yeah. 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 To see I can handle it and to see I can make it. He, it that really touched him. He loves it. 